Welcome back. Today we are in Lanigan, Saskatchewan, and we are at the MCC Community Gift and Thrift. And see what I can find to resell in my Etsy shop, Fifth Avenue Vintage Co., possibly keep for myself, or put in a flea market, the next flea market that we do. So let's go check it out. All pink tags are 50% off. All right, I'm gonna try not to forget that. All right, I'm gonna check my favorite little vintage section. It's a very old cook pot for $3, made in Poland. That's fun, kitchen decor. Here's some old books. They look pretty old, $2 each. This is A History of New York and the Sketchbook. And this one is Selected Stories, Brett, Brett Hart. And that one doesn't look as old. That was interesting. Hmm. Yeah, that would be kind of interesting. How old is it? First published in 1809. So I don't know what edition this one is, but it's two dollars, so I'll go grab it. So whole set of these. It's like, kind of like a restaurant wear. Ironstone Broadhurst. Made in England. Hmm. I've got four. Whole entire set. No, they're the individual. Oh, they're individually priced. Okay, well, that's a no. It's cute. $10 for that. Here's a light bright. $10. Looks like, oh, 20 for this and 10 for those. It's separate. And that cookie press is still here. sure if that's Melmac or not. Frost Scraper. There's some more old books. I don't know. These are still here. Still $3 each. Alright, well, I'm not really seeing anything over here that I absolutely have to have. It all looks pretty much the same. Here's some vintage hankies. Let's have a look at these. That one's stained. It's pretty stained. Ooh, there's a heart one. That one's pretty. I'll definitely take that one. I don't think I've ever found a hanky with hearts on it. So I'll take those two for sure. This one looks like it's in pretty good condition. So I think I'll grab that one as well. These other ones are pretty stained up. broken, chipped up. It's a pretty cake, cake knife. It's not a knife. I don't know. Cake flipper? Scooper? 62 pieces for $40. What set is this? USA. That's well, pretty. I just spotted a Grand Canyon treasure craft mug it's 50 cents 
It's got a little chip on it. I think I'll leave it. Oh, the amazing silverware. I don't think so. That's a pretty okay piece of glass. Nice and polished. Uh, it's only a dollar. Might as well grab it. it. Might be something. It might not. It's got a pretty nice polished bottom. It's scratched up, but we'll grab it for a dollar. What is this little piece? Cents. Is, is that the lid for it? I don't know. These are really pretty. There's no markings on them. I don't know if that lid goes with that. They are really pretty. They would be really pretty tea light holders. Is it 50 cents for all three? 50 cents for all, no, 50 cents each. I'll pick them up. I don't know how well they'll do, but we'll take a chance for, I guess, $1.50. Some Libby glasses that I don't need. Or do I need one of these? No, I have one single tall one. I don't need one single little one. These are really cute though. They're 50 cents each, so I will grab them. <laughs> Not because I need them, but because, you know, I just can't resist them. There's a couple of the Brockway glasses. I already have, I think, at least one November glass. I haven't sold any of them yet, so I don't think I'm going to pick those up today. Although I did have a lady reach out to me and ask if I had any June ones. So I am on the lookout for June, but I don't need any more November. Watch, they'll sell now and <laughs> I wish I would have picked them up. Some pretty stemware. I think they're crystal though, I don't think. They're not marked anyway. Here's some Starburst glasses. They look like they've got a lot of wear on them though. Look like they've been through the dishwasher. Not terrible, but if there was a set, I might pick those up because as a set, it would probably be okay that there's a little bit of wear, but I think I'll leave them. Some more modern. $7 for that big glass sculptural vase. Pottery piece. It's a tiny little Shisham votive holder. And I'm not sure what this is. Three holes in it. I don't know. And I dropped a little flower. A little sunflower. Doesn't want to stay. There we go. That's cute. A little flower doily. <laughs> it's pretty fun. Wish there were more of those. No, no 
no more. Well, it's 50 cents. I'll grab it. <laughs> I will rescue you. Super cute. This would only be $1.50 because it's half price. It's really pretty. There is some stains on it. But we are on our way out to our country home. And I think I will use this out there for a tea towel. I'll hang it over the stove and or near the sink and use it to wipe. Whoops. Wipe it on our hand, wipe our hands on it. So it doesn't matter that it's stained and it's pretty. <laughs> Looks nicer than an old tea towel. So I'll rescue that as well. So a few more linens. We'll see if I can rescue any more to use as dishcloths. That's cute. Oh my goodness, is that a little kitty? That's good. Oh, let's check that one out. There's a kitty on one side. Yeah, we'll grab this one as well. Oh, be a dollar. That's super cute. That one's really nice and soft. Don't know that it really goes with our decor out there. Not that it really matters. Just using it to wipe our hands with. All right, we'll go around to the other side and check out their linens over there. Super bright crocheted doilies. What are these? Three dollars for this whole stack? They're really bright. I don't know. <laughs> They're really nice. I could sell them off individually at three dollars. Someone might need an orange doily, right? <laughs> I'll pick them up. There's too much else here for linens. I've rescued a few. I feel good about myself now. <laughs> I feel much better about myself. Then I go over to, oh, there's the toys. I'm gonna just take a quick look through and see if maybe there's some vintage Barbies in here. might be older but not what I'm looking for how about her you can paint her nails <laughs> okay I'll go check out their scarves and purses accessories Pantyhose. Because I'm a weirdo and I like to collect vintage pantyhose still in their original packaging. That's a fun scarf. Pretty blue. I've got a lot of these already. 
tons of them. Do I need any more of these? They're a dollar each. One of these days, I'm going to list them all up. I think I'll grab these two. Whoops, I grabbed the wrong one. <laughs> These two vintage ones. Pretty colors. Well, I think there's just jewelry to kind of have a look through, and I think we've just about covered the whole store. Those clip ons? Those are clip ons. Definitely 1980s, 70s, or 80s. Brooch. So, pink tags, 50% off. <laughs> Remember that for me, okay? <laughs> okay, don't think there's too much in the jewelry. There's an art glass piece. It's pretty. Doggy brooches, rhinestones, there's lots of them here. Some are three and some are $1.50. I'm sure you could probably get them all for $1.50. Hmm. Well, I've got quite a few jeweled animals that I need to uh, list up. Maybe I'll grab a couple of these. These ones are in nicer condition. These ones are more more wear on them. You know what? I'm just going to grab one. I'm going to grab one. What is this dog? Pitbull? No. I don't remember. Oh, that's a nice set. That would be 250 That's definitely... Vintage clip back earrings. I'll grab that for 250. Whoops. Throwing the dog on the floor. Alright. Oh, I got a couple pieces of jewelry here. See how this doggy does. Somebody tell me what dog this is. It's not a pit bull, is it? I don't know. Seven dollars for that box. Oh, well, no. Three dollars and fifty cents. It's pretty. This is interesting. That would be a dollar. It's all red clay pottery handmade. It's really pretty. Grab that. Some shells. Three dollars for that. Don't think it's very old though. Look at this adorable puppy. The frame is nothing to be too excited about, but the puppy is sure cute. I think I would reframe that. That's super cute. I'm going to grab that for one dollar and I'll reframe it in a nicer frame. Super cute. So this is everything that I got from Community Gift and Thrift in Lanigan. And I will start off with, I'll start off with these pieces. They're just little porcelain dishes, the Japanese scene on them. There's no markings on them. They were 50 cents a piece. And I don't know exactly their purpose. And I don't know for sure if that's a lid for it. If you know, let me know in the comments if that is actually a lid for that and what you would use that for. Maybe 
I don't know, wasabi or something? <laughs> Fancy wasabi dishes? I think they'd be really pretty tea light holders. They had tea lights on them set next to a, a bathtub or something. I just thought they were really pretty and really inexpensive, so I grabbed them. And I grabbed this, I think it's a Boston Terrier. I think I figured it out. <laughs> I think that's what that is. Just a pretty little brooch with rhinestones and jeweled eyes. And it was $3. And I grabbed this set, I would say 1950s or 60s. It's got clip back earrings. And it was $2.50. I just thought it was really pretty. Nice buttery yellow set. Very spring and summer. And I got this adorable little doily. I wish there were more of these. This is so pretty. Love it. And I think it was 50 cents. And I grabbed this book. I think it's an antique book. The only date I could find in it was, oh, it's backwards. The only date I could find in it was 1809. And I think that's when this story was first published in possibly a newspaper or something. I'm not sure exactly. Notice, which appeared in the newspapers previous to the publication of this work. Hmm. So I'm not really sure, but it is a story, a history of New York and the sketchbook. Washington Irving. I can't really see it, but it's got a bit of embossing right here. And I just like that it had so much age to it. It's definitely an old book. I probably won't list this in my Etsy shop, but if anyone is interested in this book, feel free to reach out to me at the email in the description of this video. And I will be happy to send it your way. Just send me an offer. So I grabbed these two glasses. Not sure if these are Libby or not. They don't have the L on the bottom. They could be Libby. They look like Libby, but I don't know for sure. Just really cute little glasses. I think they were 50 cents each. Then I grabbed this adorable little see, tablecloth, tea towel. I thought it would make a perfect tea towel. I might actually list this one just because it's so cute. It's got the kitschy little cat on it. So I might list that one in my Etsy shop. And this one I bought for our country home where I am currently at. And I'm gonna use it as a, a tea towel, wipe our hands off, dry dishes, whatever. It's got some stains on it. And they might come out. They don't look like they're really old stains, so they might come out. But I'm going to use it out here. It's super soft and really pretty. And I only paid $1.50 for it, so it'll make a nice kitchen towel. I grabbed this stack, and I think there's five, six of them here. And they were $3. So I'm not sure. I think I might list four of them together as a set. They would make nice placemats, fit a nice round uh, plate. Be perfect for autumn or Halloween. And then I might just list these two as doilies or whatever. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do, but they were only $3 for all of them and they're really nice, nice nicely made. I grabbed this brooch. It is red clay pottery, handmade. It was a dollar. I just thought it was kind of fun. Handmade piece. She looks like a witch. That's my guess. I could be wrong. Maybe she's some sort of moon lady or something. I don't know, but she kind of looks like a witch. What do you think? So I picked her up. I grabbed a couple or three hankies. These two really pretty elegant ones were a dollar each and this one was a dollar as well this was a nice find I've never found a heart hanky before 
So I will list that probably closer to um, Valentine's Day. I have a little stash of Valentine's, vintage Valentine's to list up. So I will put that in my pile of Valentine's and do that probably in like December or January, probably January. I grabbed a couple of scarves and I have a lot of these scarves. So I'm gonna have to do a listing one day of a whole bunch of these scarves. They were a dollar each. They're just fun for hair or tie around the neck, 1960s or 70s probably. I don't think they're 1950s. They could be, but my guess is probably 1960s. And I grabbed this adorable print, super kitschy dog with daisies. It's in just a kind of a cheaper plastic frame. It was only a dollar, so I think I'm gonna reframe it, find a really nice frame for it and reframe it, and then I'll list it in my Etsy shop. Trying not to get the glare there. Super cute. <laughs> so that was everything that I got from Community Gift and Thrift. And that is everything for today. So thank you so much for joining me.